Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, hey. Yes, so I'm back, y'all. What is good? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so this is me talking to you in the present to let y'all know that this is part one of a part two, you know, little catch up. So make sure y'all watch to the end of this, but part two is coming out very, very soon. So stay tuned, okay? And make sure you watch to the end. We're doing an update. Let me know if y'all like the new background. I'm like getting into like lights, like different shades of lights, colors, you know, background art. I'm trying to, you know, differentiate between the back and the front, you know what I mean? So we're getting into all that. Okay. Like this new era of my channel is going to be very much so life. Okay. <laughs> that was a very long intro. <laughs> To the video as I try to do my makeup y'all know I'm not good at multitasking but we're gonna try this and on top of that we're going to be inserting some clips cuz you know I might have been gone and not posting but what I have been doing is I've been vlogging anyway y'all let's get to this let's I'm gonna just put that out there this is not a makeup tutorial or nothing like that so everything I use I'm not gonna say it it's gonna be down below though okay March, nothing really happened but my mom's birthday. And if you haven't seen that video, you should. It's the last one I posted. <laughs> so May was an eventful month for the fact that it was Mother's Day. Once again, celebrating the mover, the mover. My mommy. Why do you have to say mom? Happy Mother's Day to me. Mm -hmm. And happy Mother's Day to Azoka in five years time. Hey, okay. <laughs> that wow. Yeah, we are going to eat dinner. Yes. The whole family is going to enjoy this night. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm proud of my kids. Oh, we're proud of you too, mm -hmm. mommy. Mm -hmm. I love them to death. Oh, we love you too, mom. We went to the Mongolian Grill for Mother's Day. That was beautiful. It was a beautiful. And on top of that, there was an announcement, okay? <laughs> you. Okay. Pregnancies and babies and all that stuff is always a beautiful time. And then after May came June. And then June, I was doing a lot of auntie things, okay? I would like to say that I pride myself with being the cool auntie, okay? I'm cool. I'm cool and collected and all that stuff. <laughs> all right, y'all, so we're back again. Yes, Azuka and Avea in the house. You better watch your, oh no, don't do that, girl. So creepy, like she likes flipping her eyelids like Hi. that. Hi. <laughs> don't, don't do that, don't do that. This is how y'all look fabulous, okay? Look at us. Okay, y'all, we're out in the park. Avea's gonna show me what she do on the scooter boo. Okay. Scooter. <laughs> or the hoverboard. Y'all, y'all should have seen it. I fell on this earlier, but let's not talk about that. Anyway, let's go, girl. Can you time it? Yeah, I'm going to time it. Ready, set, go. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, girl. Be careful. Oh, gee, y'all. I don't know about this. <laughs> Be careful, girl. It was 21 seconds. So I babysat. It was cool, y'all. You know, we, like I said, I'm the cool auntie, so we get to do fun stuff when we link up. Also, I wanna say 
I'm giving y'all month to month updates, but you gotta watch to the end for the real update on why I was gone for so long. Anyway, so back to Baby City and all that, it was fun. We had a good time. So after the auntie tings, July came and then we had the gender reveal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys gotta count. Oh, like all those at the same time? On five. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. I did all the decorations for that. Y'all know that I love doing decorations. Like, decorations are my thing. I love them. Um, I love to just do, like, decorations and event planning. Low-key, y'all, I be thinking that I should start doing, like, event planning on the side. Yeah, so I did that. It was a fun time because... No one knew, no one knew the agenda. Okay, no one knew but me. And that was great because if y'all know me, it's hard for me to keep a secret, okay? I can do a lot of things, but one thing that's a little bit of a struggle for me is to keep a secret, and I did. And you know what? I'm very, very happy about that. Anyway, back to the topic. Actually, I forgot it. <laughs> Every time I think about going back to the topic, I always think about that. Shout out to J. Cole the GOAT, my favorite rapper of all time. After the gender reveal in July, y'all already know what I had to do. What do I do every August? Like, can someone please answer for the crowd what I do every August? I'll give you a couple seconds. Okay. I'll tell you. <laughs> I go to Texas. Ooh, I just dropped something. But I go to Dallas every August. Yeah, if you guessed, you guessed right, okay? <laughs> I went for my best friend's birthday, like always. All right, y'all. We back. I haven't been vlogging this whole time. My voice, oh, this is light. There we go. Yes, my voice, still a little raspy, but Damn, the birthday girl, look, it is so good. Yes. 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 More life, blessed life. Dallas um, was very interesting this time. So, first we went to um, this game bar situation. I forgot the name of it, but I'll have it on the bottom if I can find it when I insert the clip. But we went to this bar situation. Um, it was a game bar place where you played games and all that. And it was cool, it was nice. All right, y'all, so we're on our way. We're on our way to brunch, okay? Cause we're gonna brunch, right? Right. So, <laughs> we're on our way, um, but this is the following day. Last time y'all saw me was earlier today when we were getting ready and stuff. I should have brought out the camera when we were getting ready, but you know, it was a quick, 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 because you know, these things, you gotta move quick. And like I said, I apologize for my voice, but it is what it is, okay? I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited for brunch, to brunch it up. So, drink mimosas. I've been craving a good mimosa, y'all. And my, don't we look so good? Yes, get into it. Anyway, y'all, I'll catch y'all off when we're at the spot. Y'all know what it is, you know what it do, what it do, what it do. This is, once again, Texas trip. I'm always here every year for her birthday, okay? Fun. Let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, and then after that, so we had like, I would say, three celebrations. 
Well, we did a lot. But after that, there was the main situation, which was the, um, the vote party. <laughs> I get motion sickness really bad. I get seasick really bad. I thought I took precaution because I took like two drama means. Y'all, I didn't do nothing. I was struggling. <laughs> I could have been having so much fun. But unfortunately, fun got cut short <laughs> for the fact that I was sick and more stuff happened. But I'm gonna save that for like a story time with my best friend because she has her perspective and I have mine. Um, so that'd be a good story time to, to have when she's around. After that, we went out to brunch. All right, y'all, I apologize for not vlogging for the past two days, but we're in line to go to brunch at this place. What is it called? Stir? Stir. Stir. Stir it up. Okay. So, <laughs> we're going to head there. So, I will see y'all when we're in there. I... Like I said, I apologize, you know, I've been up and at it. Turn up. She gonna need to do a now, story time about yesterday. Yeah, no, so yesterday can be a story time because, <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all in a little bit. The music is loud out there. Outfit, yeah, outfit. outfit. Yeah. Okay, we out. Hit times, you know, it's nice to get away. I wanna fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Lenny Kravis. But um, later on that month, when I came back, it was my sister's birthday. So shout out to the Leos for my best friend. And then August 25th was my sister's birthday. Shout out to the Virgos. Okay, Virgo gang. We went to a steakhouse. I believe it's called Black Indian Steakhouse. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot to update y'all. So I'm at Black Ingus for my sister's birthday today. I forgot to update, but we're here having a good old time. Hi, Olivia. You're on camera. Wait, I'm a Vega. Look at how cute her hair does. Look at her. Look at that. That's what you call healthy, silky, natural hair. We don't do relaxers. Ew. Yeah. Tell them, Avea. I don't do no relaxer. I'm all natural. Say, <laughs> I'm an all natural material girl. There you go. Ew. I understand that. Y'all, I got the mushroom steak with a side of mashed potatoes. Yummy. Tunaya got macaroni and cheese and fries, but she ain't eating it like that. And then Avea got some ribs. ribs. Yep. With mashed potatoes. With mashed potatoes. Is it good? Yeah. It's good. Okay. And then my mom got the same thing I got. Oh. Mm. My dad got the salmon. He got the salmon over there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Crying face. Stop that nonsense. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! Nice to be around family. I'm around them a lot, so I love them. So in September, I went to the Kendrick Lamar, aka Benz's To Me Just Stay Car. I went to the Kendrick Lamar concert. <laughs> Okay, 
y'all. I love a good concert. Um, especially if it's a Kendrick, a J. Cole, like I'm gonna be there. And one of my favorite things that I always love that me and my brothers do is go to concerts of our favorite artists because it's always top notch and we always have such a good experience. Um, this experience was good as well because we finessed, okay? We be finessing. So story time, small little itty bitty story time. We bought tickets in the mid section, not like floor. We were able to finesse and get on the floor. But unfortunately, I did not get any footages of that because my phone, well, my camera died. My camera died and my phone was at the very last bit. And one thing I've always learned at concerts, don't let your phone die at a concert because you never know what's gonna happen when you're trying to exit out. Large crowds scare me. So yeah, gotta make sure I have some juice in that. That was my September was the Kendrick Lamar concert. In October was my nephew's baby shower, yes. His name is Ikemba, Ikemba. That means strength of the nation. So yes, we love that for him. Once again, I did the decorations as always. Like it's not a family function if I do not do the decorations. It was Halloween theme. So that meant that we all dressed up in costumes. Yeah, fun, fun, good times. November. And you know what November is. Thanksgiving, y'all. Thanksgiving is just an eating holiday, okay? You know, all the whiteness, Christopher Columbus and all that, you know, we don't mess with them. No. Going out of the way when I should have went home. Only time of the day I get to spend on my own. I was tripping off. I used to sleep at your crib. Should drive out right where you live and pick you up on the way. We ain't spoken so long. Probably put me in the past. I can still get you wet and I can still make you laugh. You should call in the word if that ain't too much to ask. I can pour you up a drink a week. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Amen. Mm. We pray to Amen. 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 After November, y'all already know the best month of the year. Don't let me say it again. I will. The best month of the year is December. Okay? They didn't lie. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the best month of the year. You know why? Because who was born? Who was born? Your girl was born. Yeah, it's me. I was born in December. Yeah. Yeah. It was me. Yeah. <laughs> Before my birthday though, Christmas. Y'all know, I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday. It's, it's Christmas. Ooh. Yes. Shake it. This is a little bent a little bit. I'm trying to make it bend better. But it's Christmas, so. Y'all know I had to show y'all at least how my Christmas went. I have a niece and I have a nephew now. And the family is expanding. The family expanding. It's growing and all that good stuff. So, Merry Christmas to all. Okay. This is how we're looking with the full outfit. Yes. I'm in such a good mood anyway. All right, y'all. I will see y'all in a little bit. Left round skin, I'll be standing five to not be rocking it when I be in your vicinity. All style synergy, recognize symmetry. Don't try to injure me. Broken man chemically. He's the number 10 MC. So no problem, I'll be tired it like Kennedy. Late at 10 to 3. When I say when I be, girl, save and I keep. Cause this is the enemy. We love Christmas. My birthday photo shoot was very significant. I was just so happy, y'all, how good the photo shoot came out. I used this camera. Shout out to my bestie. Okay. Shout out to my best friend. 
always coming through. She was the one behind the camera. I just helped to direct. So if you want to check them out, definitely go on my Instagram. <laughs> So after the photo shoot was my brother's birthday. He had his birthday dinner at the number one spot that we love to go to <laughs> always. I love their drinks, by the way. Bahama Breeze. Toast, toast, more life, more life. Y'all ruined it. Where's your juice box? And I know the food at Bahama Breeze is like generic. A lot of people from the islands tell me that their food isn't like what can really be. Y'all know what I mean. If y'all don't know, you should know that my brother's birthday is the day before mine. He was born on 27th of December and I was born on the 28th of December. So the day after, we went to a steakhouse for my birthday dinner on December 28th. Birthday dinner with my bestie. Yeah. We're at this place. We got the name of it. I'll have it somewhere here, but we're here for my birthday dinner for two. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. It was a newer steakhouse in the Tacoma area. And the drinks? Can I talk about the drinks? My best friend ordered a drink. It was on fire. We loved it. The showmanship, 10 out of 10. Oh, wow, okay. I should have got that. <laughs> My drink was more on the reserve side. It was like a watermelon tahine type drink. The quality, yeah. So good, so good. It was good. It was like a steakhouse, like with um, a Mexican like touch. I really liked it. The only critique I would say about the food there was that it was kind of oily. It was less seasoned and more oily. But other than that, the food was slapping and the portions were really good as well. I'm back, had to put on the lashes real fast. Y'all know I cannot do that on camera. So after my birthday dinner, New Year's, New Year's on the 31st, I didn't really do a lot. Honestly, this New Year's, I just wanted to be with my family, you know, you know how that go. So I was with my parents. I brought in the New Year's with my parents. If you didn't know, I now reside with them, yes. There's always pros and cons to everything. I definitely wanna make a video on that, the pros and cons to living with your parents when you're almost 30. So I look forward to that, look out for that. Especially like one thing I'm starting to really value is just even though, did we get in, did we push it a little bit? Even though sometimes it can be a little static, okay? A little, a little bit of that. <laughs> And I still enjoy just having moments with them um, because I know stuff like that doesn't last forever. So I love that. My lips are looking very bare. Let me do my favorite go-to lip routine. Okay, you've seen it on my Instagram most of the time. Oh, TikTok. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok as well. That is going well as well. Why am I so extra? But <laughs> I mean, okay, <laughs> I'm done, y'all. I'm done. I just, you know, you gotta admire the effort you put into your look. All right, so if you made it this far into the video, you know I mess with you. These were all the highlighted good moments that I just told you about. But there is, you know, with the highs, there's the lows. <sighs> Last year was a little bit difficult. Let me take this off. It was a bit challenging. 
you know, challenging sometimes might be an understatement, but you know, we're here, we're here, and we're whole, right? So it was like, I would say December to like January, or no, not even December, I would say like November 2021 to um, December. I had gained 30 pounds out of nowhere. It was very alarming, right? Um, once again, that was in 2021. And then I was like, okay, this is a bit alarming. Red flag number two was that I was feeling very much so like down in the dumps, like lower than I've ever felt. And then I had anxiety and I usually don't really have anxiety that bad. So it was the weight gain the depressive thoughts and anxiety all coupled together. And on top of that, you know, the older you get, you be getting here, you know, here and there, whatever. But I noticed a lot of like here, like usually I have like three here's here, three here's there, okay, on my chin. But I noticed like an alarming amount of hair just like growing on my chin. It's like, so I have the weight gain, 30 pounds, depressive thoughts, the anxiety, the hair on the chin. And then on top of that, around that time, I watched a video that Candace had posted. Candace and um, her boyfriend, Omar, they have a channel. I follow them on Instagram and I have like the video. I can link it down below as well. Um, and she was talking about how she has PCOS and she had all the symptoms. Well, she had like acne and all that, but like when it came to the weight gain and all that, and I was like, hmm okay you know what a plus b is equaling c so late january of 2022 i had gone to go see my doctor i usually go at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year right so i go and then i tell her my symptoms shout out to my doctor okay because she's a real one because I heard some really bad horror stories about women that do have PCOS going to their doctor and being completely disregarded. So shout out to my doctor for actually listening to me. Um, so I told her like, hey, these are my symptoms. I think I have PCOS. Then she was like, mm, let me check your chin. She checked my chin, she checked my neck. And then she was like, yeah, you know, it's giving very much so PCOS. <laughs> If you don't know what PCOS is, it's polycystic ovarian syndrome, okay? And it's basically a hormone imbalance and it can cause infertility. So basically, I was like, okay. After that appointment, she then referred me to a ultrasound technician and I went and then they did the ultrasound and it looked very PCOS-ish. Uh, <laughs> it was screaming PCOS and I was like dang like okay so my technician as well had PCOS so she was like yeah this looks very you know similar it's, it's giving follicles on the ovaries and yeah my ultrasound had follicles on my ovaries which is a big signifier for having PCOS now, I get a little emotional talking about this part, but she was basically telling me, um, you know, that she's been having trouble conceiving because she does have PCOS. And you know, PCOS can range from like the severity that you have it. Um, I'm very fortunate that I do have regular cycles. Um, I do you know, menstruate every month. And that, that within itself is a good signifier of being able to conceive um, in the future. But she was just telling me about her struggles with PCOS and I was like, and then it just hit me. Cause before I was like, okay, you know, I'm not one of those people that like dwell on the negative. I was like, okay, I'm gonna work through it. But then when she told me that, she shook me a little bit and I was like, okay like i never thought that i would ever have trouble um conceiving like having children i've never tried before 
Oh, my nose is sweaty. My eyes are sweaty. Emotional walls. Emotional walls, girl. Emotional walls. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I never thought that I would ever have trouble conceiving. I That was never a thought of mine. I was on birth control for a good amount of my early 20s um, for the fact that, you know, that's what you're supposed to do if you ain't trying to have a baby. Um, I was on the pill and she let me know that, you know, the side effects, they don't be telling you the side effects of birth control. So be aware, woman, please. Like, if you're on birth control, just please be aware that if you are taking hormonal birth control, that it can mess up your hormonal balance. Um, and that's what happened to me because, look, I was fine when I was on birth control. Then I decided to get off, and then that's when the PCOS was like, hey, girl, hey, hey, I'm here. Um, and, yeah, so after finding that out, I was like, great. I'm feeling down even more <laughs> a little bit. Um, I'm 30 pounds heavier, and, like, thank God that I am tall, so you can't really, like, tell that big of a significant difference but like I was like you know like for someone like me that has played sports you know I haven't been like I'm not the skinniest woman like I was when I was like younger I was very thin um and then the older I got you know a little bit of the weight was getting on but like it was healthy weight you know I'm I'm not trying to say don't come for me police okay the community of fat phobia I'm not saying that it's wrong to be thicker it's just for me um it was a no I'm gonna just be honest like it was like mm, I gotta do something about this and on top of that it was a health issue as well because the more overweight you are the harder it is for you to conceive and at my big age I'm about to be 30 this year that's something that you know I have to be aware about I have to like be aware that that is something that I want I obviously want to have kids and on top of that I was transitioning careers as well if you didn't know I was in healthcare um I got my degree in kinesiology minored in communications I worked healthcare since I graduated and I hated it so around that time um that time last year before I found out that I had PCOS I was trying to make a career switch leaning more into what I enjoy which is social media marketing operations all that um, so yeah I had that stress on top of finding out this news and then I was like something's gotta give so I shut shit down <laughs> I shut it down overall all that was the reason why I was gone I just had to figure life out. I had to figure this out because it was a lot going on. And thankfully, by the time I did have my photo shoot in December, I had lost a significant amount of weight um, because the more weight you have on yourself when you have PCOS, the more your symptoms are aggravated. So yeah, that's why that photo shoot was a rebirth. Um, and now we're here and I feel way better and I want to create content. Y'all see my face? <laughs> you see me now? Look at me now. <laughs> and I just plan on focusing more on my health, mental, physical, going forth. I still have a little bit more that I want to get to. And yeah, I'm here and I'm happy that I'm back. Thank y'all for making it to the end of this video. I'm back y'all. And I just want to say, if you want to see beauty content more on me, I'm going to be posting out on my shorts and my long form videos are going to be more about my life. Um, that's the structure I want it to be like moving forward. And thank y'all for sticking around. Okay. I didn't lose too much subscribers and I hope to gain plenty more. And thank y'all so much again. I feel like I said thank you like three times. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Okay, comment down below. Why not? 
give me some feedback. There was a lot in this video. It was pretty long. So if you have anything to say, leave it down below. And I will see you in my next video. Peace, love, and lights. <laughs>